What do you want in life? Not what your parents says, not what your friends are doing, not what you see off the internet. But what do you want in life? Ask yourself this. Who are you and what do you want in this life? Pursue the passion of what you want. Because if you have no passion, then you're just surviving. And that's the topic that we're going to talk about, is passion. Now, we often hear this now, these days where you got to pursue your passion, find your passion, as it's very overwhelming because how do we do that? Right? What is even passion? Well, passion is something that you are loving, something that you love to do every single day that set your heart on fire that you can't constantly stop thinking of because it's with passion. And this passion can be, come down to art, gardening, film work, um, content creation, acting, writing, whatever passion it is, at the end of the day, you have to figure out what this is. Because once you figure out what your passion is, then you're not no longer surviving, but you're living the life. You're living your life. I think we often under, uh, misunderstand how when we think of surviving. What is surviving as well? Well, surviving is paying the bills, working at a job that you probably hate, dealing with people that you hate, making barely enough money to pay your bills, but you do it anyway, and eating food that you know is bad for you, but it's cheap anyway because you can't afford healthy food because you realize the healthy food market is uh, too expensive because they do it on purpose. However, this is what surviving is. And understanding this is that now you must figure out what is my passion? What is something that gets me out of bed every single day? Not surviving, because surviving you will, well, Unfortunately, this is no way to live, as many of us tend to. And it's totally normal. I mean, it's totally okay. There's nothing wrong with it. But wake up, figure out, damn, what the hell am I doing? What the hell am I doing every single day to try to do this? Like, what do I have to live for? But you must understand, when you find your passion, when you find this idea of what you want in life, you will figure out this is something I can look forward to. This is something that we live for. This is something we die for to making this work. You know, and finding life meaningful stuff is through passion. Whether it's writing, whether it's film working, like I said previously, is understanding this. And I say this because without this, then then we we really don't have much to live for. In my, in my perspective, now passion doesn't always have to mean like a hobby. Passion can also mean family. Passion can also mean traveling. Passion can also mean crafting or woodworking whatever it is no matter what the hobby is or no matter what you're doing this is the passion that you must pursue even if you have to work an odd job even if you have to work a side hustle to pay the bill to keep pursuing your passion this is the way to do it because you only live one life you only have one shot at this and let's say even if it doesn't work in five years ten years but it will eventually work if you keep at it, if you know this is what you want in life, this is something that set your heart on fire, knowing that I love doing this, then it will never feel like a day of, uh, it will never feel like a day of work. Why is this? Well, because you love doing it. Now, how do we find passion? Well, this is something that I always say is that you must try to find as many ideas as you can. The more ideas that you try, the more you realize what works and what doesn't work. You know. I think we often see how when we find passion, we must do one thing and stick at it forever. But no, you don't have to do that. Let's say you want to start writing, but you don't really know how to write. Well, learn about how to write. Watch some YouTube videos, read more books, and write. Right? And you might see after a year or two that writing might not be it. So try a new hobby. Maybe writing might not be the best, but maybe you like film working. As film work can capture the storyline and the writing on it. This is what I mean. You don't have to set on one thing because most of the time when you choose one thing, things will spike out. Things will work out better than you can imagine by working out very differently. You know, it's funny is that fate works very spontaneous. It's very odd because sometimes the things that we want the most are usually the things that are the opposite. It's weird. I know. This is something that I started to notice more often in my life is that three years ago, I wanted something very differently. And now fast forward three years, things are working a little bit opposite. And yes, it might feel uh, like a failure. Yes, it might feel like setbacks. But change your perspective on how you see these setbacks and failures and really see what is fate trying to tell you? What is something that you're really looking for? You know, really see, okay, maybe this does make sense. You know, and the best way to start is, well, just start. 
it's really that easy because the more that you just start something, there's no going back. You just start and keep trying ideas, keep trying to make this work. You know, I think we often uh, overthink or often overanalyze the idea of how to start. But really just starting is starting right now. Once you finish this video, start the passion that you want to do. Whether it's writing, acting, film working, content creation, I don't know. Whatever it is, just start, you know. And once you start, you'll start to realize this is awesome. This is what we live for. This is what we die for. And hopes and dreams will continue to thrive throughout us. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. Uh, short and sweet. But I think this is something that we often need to hear. This is something that I always needed to hear. Especially when I was in my teenager year. Like 15, 16. As I was a very big overthinker. But I never really figured out what I really wanted in my life. Until later on in life. And no question about it. You don't need to figure out what you want in life today, tomorrow. But have an idea of what you want to start. Have an idea of your passion and what you want to pursue. But I'm going to get going. That's going to be it for today. Have a good day and peace.